All right, folks, the deck is Self Mill Warlock. The goal of the deck is to empty our deck with Hemet Jungle Hunter or Altar of Fire to reduce the number of cards in our deck so that we can get Nero Fireblade online as well as Chef Nomi. Behind that, we can fill our deck back up a little bit with Archivist Deliciana and control the board with early game removal as well as Blood Shard Bristleback once we've started removing cards from our deck. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Thought Zephyrus would be quite universal, you know? Yeah, the thing about Zephyrus, though, is that, like, Reno decks are extraordinarily expensive. So you have Zephyrus, but then you need, like, 12 other legendaries to make the deck... So it's it's not as simple as uh, Zephyrus is universal. He's played in a lot of decks. Burn six cards and never hit a combat piece. That's why burning cards doesn't actually do anything until their deck is empty or, you know, until their deck is empty. All right, I'm going to hold that in case it's Reno Priest and they... Slap a pull kilt down. Burning cards isn't a massive deal. It just feels bad and people don't like it. Yes. In most cases, though, it uh, it's effectively doing nothing. Except for in this deck, because it can get us things like um, the Bristleback online, as well as the, uh, the Nomi and the Nero. But in terms of the opponent's deck, unless they... It, it, aside from very specific cases, burning cards is... Not doing anything. I think I have to hold these in case it's Big Priest and I need to buy time. Can I get your thoughts on the idea of a Blizzard policy regularly nerfing the most used card and buffing the least? A way of consistently evolving the game. I think... I don't know. I don't... I don't know that there needs to be like a hard and fast rule about that. They're already kind of um, making changes to the game. And also, how do you... I think... No, I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> that, that will just create too much uh, change on too regular a basis. It's okay for cards to be good. It's okay for cards to be bad. And also, yeah, nerfing the most used cards. Like Those cards are being used by a lot of players. That means that like... For free-to-play players that don't have a, a large collection, they're constantly potentially losing the um, the card that their deck is built around, and then that deck is gone. So I feel like that would make a lot of people very upset. And rightfully so. I'm going to tap here and then just have to give up the altar if I uh, don't hit anything playable. Oh, it is Reno. At least we got the Zeph. Sure. Uh, that feels really bad now because um, if they drop a pull kill here, I'm going to look like an idiot. If they had a pull kelt, they would have played it by now. So, I'm just going to do my dex thing. Is the Warlock quest good? Uh, no. No. It doesn't do anything. Except make your opening hand worse. But I'm assuming they already have the Anduin in hand, the way this is pacing out, and they're just going to coin Anduin here. Yes, but how? Uh, well, you start by playing the coin, and then the Anduin from your hand. You think Mage will ever have a good deck that people won't ask to be nerfed? Yeah, it has, it has many right now. It's had several in the past. Like, sure? There's no way that was better for... The opponent, or for the opponent than it was for me, is it? Should I tap for them? I 
I don't think I should. I feel like I got the good end of that deal. And they have to clear this, but then I just tap into Chef uh, Nomi. Because they have to clear it because they know I have the Zeph in hand, right? Like, I don't think that we... Hulk out plus tap you missed. Yeah, that would have been smart to give them uh, a free Anduin. I don't want to tap here. Puts him to eight. So let's get a pyro. I think pyro is checkmate. Zef Winfury? Well, Zef Winfury would be one off. Wiggly Sync, thank you for the one year. Only one year of amazing content? It feels like a, it's been a bit longer. Well, it's certainly been a year, so that's understandable. <laughs> thank you for that long term support, though. All right. What's better than hucking a Pyroblast at the opponent for exact lethal? Shaman, I think we need to assume, is Murlocs. So I think keeping the Dark Skies makes sense. Not sure about the Glacial Shard. Um, sure, it can help me set up AoE turns, I think. Even Shaman seems alright. Uh, maybe they'll roll an Idiot Totem here, and then we'll get the laugh. Which is better, old Alexstrasza, new Alexstrasza, or newest Alexstrasza? Yeah, it's, I mean, you make a good point, because that is exactly the same as comparing the Kazakuses. They just, they do different things. Let's just tap here. Um, Dark Skies is good. I want to, like, collect some removal before the um, Idiot Totem, please. I might have to uh, coil five, seven. This is probably just better, right? Uses one less card than the coil to file. Elements I like. Totems I love. It's a good draw, just because it's playable alongside this. Again, I think I would like some uh, more removal before the Hemet, so I don't necessarily think I'm coining them out. Depends on what we draw. Hey, Fizzle. The fact that the two Kazakas have different deck conditions is the super restrictive part. Well, they, I mean, they were never um, meant to be in the same deck, though. So I don't think that's necessarily problematic. Because again, they serve different roles. And are probably meant for different archetypes. All right, I'm just gonna jam the uh, the Hemet. I do not care. I have the, uh, the Zeph, that can be removal if I need it to be. And then I also just have an active Reno now. No, I don't. I have two Baron Scavengers. Rip. But this trade's probably happening, right? Zeph is inactive? Yeah, I know. I just said that. I 
don't think I want to play that just yet. Next turn, I can go uh, Altar of Fire into Chef Nami. Zeph inactive after Reno, and Reno after him, it seems clanky. I think it seems fine. <laughs> what? We're in a fine spot here. Is the fact that uh, Nomi and Niru inactive after the Hemet also clunky? <laughs> Alright, there's Kazamicus. I'm just going to blow up those cards. Break it, you buy it. So that I can get the, uh, the Nomi down here. This should be enough to win the game, right? These are six mana minions, so yeah. Seems like an agree well, maybe not the best of all. Wow, I got some really bad low rolls here, didn't I? I got a one one and a two two. At least your Cthulhu got enough buff. True. Um, so I don't think I have lethal now because of that horrendous roll. So what I can do is coin the Zeph. Wait, I don't need to coin the Zeph. I can just go Zeph into Flame Strunk. Zeph Bloodlust. Is that enough though? I've got 16 on board plus uh, like that's there's no way that's enough. You kind of punted with a Nero born Bl burn. I don't think that's a thing that matters though. Zeph Bloodlust, Zeph Bloodlust doesn't kill though, does it? You have the monkey, so it's 1620. Uh, this goes away, so it's um, 5, 11, 17, plus 9. You guys are out of your mind. It's not close to lethal, plus there's a, like, there's a taunt in the way. Zakas can give you a one mana, give your minions plus one, plus one. Okay, that's the same thing as hero powering, though. And for more mana. And then I don't have, like, I don't have infinite mana this turn. The real bummer is that chat told me it was a punt to burn the Nehru, and I can't win from here, so. It's too bad. I guess I should have gone with the Mega Wind Fury friend for the, uh, all, like, I got several Wind Fury things. Let's keep the Mortal Coil and the Mistress in that case. We get to go first, and um, life tap on too. That's exciting. Uh, Dark Skies is very good. Reno's not going to be active for a while, but that's okay. Aha! I'm fine with that. So it heals for two instead of four, but... Oof. I think this might need to be a Dark Skies. 
because uh, tap into altar is not very good. That could have been very punishing for me. It still is. But maybe a little bit less so now. Yeesh. Wait, did we do it? That's a very good draw. So it's six damage. I've got, uh, I've got to make some trades. Three, four, six. Yeah, I don't get to go face here. That's okay. Every time I uh, I use a removal, I see something else coming from the opponent that I want to remove. Feels kind of bad. The file is going to be hard to activate without uh, cards from my own deck. I think we tap for another low cost minion. It's a bummer. That doesn't matter. Wow. Uh, we lost two pretty important cards, but. Uh, Reno's active, so that was kind of the whole point of this. <laughs> Easy Reno. I don't think we're getting to a chef uh, Nomi anytime soon. Let's see what we tap into. It's a good hit. Okay, so we are getting to chef Nomi. Next turn, I can go scavenger. Um, Nomi. I could also go Scavenger uh, Plague Nomi if I need to clear some of this uh, stuff on board. Could go Defile Nomi. We leave a 3-1 on the board. And I can still play the uh, scavenger. Easy. Hand buff can be difficult. Um, I think I want the card over the health right now, though. Job's done. May the light grant you peace. Hmm. 
It's kind of problematic, right? It eventually becomes a uh, liability when I draw Devolve, but I don't have Devolve, so... Wait, there's a loot hoarder in this deck now? Well, we're back up to full health. They didn't want to make a a dragon. Accidents. They happen, you know? All right, where's my defile? Because I cannot play dark skies into this. It just leaves them with uh, I'm the best. Six mana, six, six. At least it has taunt, though. I don't like using this here, but I'm going to like it even less if I lose my uh, one attacking minion. Let's tap. It's a good draw. Just let her rip. Not important. Not terribly important. Yeah. Uh, I think they got the bad end of that one. They lost a fair amount of burst there. And this is now active next turn. Both of these are. So I can go double uh, bristle Bristleback and a uh, Scavenger. So pretty good. And we're a Plague of Flames away from Reno being active. So pretty good. Hey, congrats, Tasculus. Well, that gives me something to uh, bristle back, I guess. Mind if I, roll need? I could just dank skies this and save some of the healing. It allows me to tap. I might want to, um, I might want to hold this just because the Zephyrus could be useful. Who are we hitting today? Wow, that's large. I've got a Defile with this now. I think I have the cards I need to win. So I can just empty their deck. Wait, it does six damage. The card is much more powerful than I thought it was. Yeah. Go ahead and tap here. Sure. I think we're in a good spot. Conviction does damage. I should be able to set up like a defile into um, defile into Reno here, or Kazakus. Um, I don't think. I'm going to be able to stay ahead on board enough for the Plague of Flames to be worth keeping. Double altar.
I mean, it would be a pretty big power move to do it here, wouldn't it? Okay. This is objectively a bad play. But what could go wrong, really? Easy. <laughs> I mean, we are going to beat them anyway, even with the Togwaggle, just because we empty our deck faster, right? But, like, it's pretty funny that we hit their win condition there. Alright, let's just find the helmet now. Hard carried by double altar. Let's do some tapping. Um, so I need to pay attention to my life total because they still do have uh, naturalize. So I don't want to go in too hard on the, uh, the knee room. Right? Oh, our Baron Scavenger costs one mana. I'm tempted to get rid of the coin just because, like, it fills my hand. Or, um, naturalizes. But at the same time, it, like, it's beneficial to keep it because of the dark sky, so I'll hold it for a turn. They can also copy your hand still, right? Yeah, um... Maybe I should have just dumped the, the Niru in that case. But I don't think it's that impactful. Because, like, do you really want a UI right now? And I don't have the... Uh... Yeah, they get the Niru, but not the Elysiana, so I don't think this is good. What a draw. Oh my god. I did not think that one through. Well, that's okay. I think we still win from here, and I think that's still a good play to set up for uh, Zeph Lethals. Uh, their copies are all one mana. We just race? I mean, it's always been a race, yeah. Okay, uh, probably not the Zeph turn. I want uh, stuff that does more damage. Ticket is probably too slow. Uh, I mean, Ticket is just too big of a gamble because Blowing up five cards in our deck, it can be a bummer. Okay. Um, what they're doing here is playing around the Zeph. But... We just clear the uh, one health minion. Impressively done. Easy game. Like we see in this game, sometimes blowing up our own cards goes wrong. Uh, did it though? Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Noggleshire, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.